like I said, um, calling to give you just a courtesy of a heads up that you'll you will receive a letter kind of early next week letting you know that the bank's decided to end their banking relationship with you. Um, the bank determined that this relationship is outside of its risk appetite. So um, <laughs> typically we don't uh, call customers in, in these situations, but I recognize you've been a long time client of the bank, so I wanted, wanted to call to give you the courtesy of the heads up. <clears throat> which part of the um, which part of it is too uh, risky for the bank? Is that my military pension? I, I'm afraid I, I don't have any other details. Mm. So they just send you. They just send the yeah. messenger guy right on. Just, just the messenger here. So, <clears throat> sorry about that. Um, and, so, and just to let you know, so your, your branch was just made aware of the news this afternoon. So, and, and again, they, they don't have any further information. There was a decision made at the head office. Um, and the so, head office. Who uh, would that be? I don't, I don't have any other information in terms of names or anything like that. Oh, where, why would anybody want to be accountable for anything? That would be foolish. Sorry, continue, please. Pardon me? I said sorry, continue, please. Okay. I understand the frustration. Um, so also, as part of ending the relationship, so as of today, um, you're not to visit any of the Scotiabank branches or bank premises in person without first getting uh, written consent in advance from the bank, from management. So I'm banned um, from the bank. You first have to just reach out and, and get uh, get written consent before you, you physically come on to any uh, bank premises as, as part of uh, ending the Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that there's no reason given for that either, and no one's accountable and there's no one to call for that. I, I'm i afraid, yeah, I don't have any other right on. information beyond that. Um, so, uh, yeah, again, I know there's lots you can do online. Obviously, I'm sure you bank online already but uh, um, you, you can, you're you welcome to, to email your branch uh, if there's anything you need help with um, I can email them but I can't go in and speak to them in person without written consent well, can, exactly exactly <laughs> so um, you can email the branch you can talk about figuring out a way if, you, if there's anything you need to do yeah but you'll, you'll need to email them first yeah well, there's a lot I need to do. I have mortgages and vehicle loans and, and business, like. Yep. And this is effective yep. when? Like right now? So, uh, no. So, so the way it will work, so you, you'll receive the letter, um, and then uh, you will have uh, 30 days from when you get the letter before your accounts will be closed. So it's not, it's not that your accounts will be closed immediately. Um, the letter will spell out kind of the details of, how things will work and, and next steps for each of your accounts. Um, so you'll, you'll get more detail there, um, and, mm -hmm. uh, and and that should should answer most of your questions. Um, definitely recommend kind of that you start sooner than later looking for a, a different bank or alternative arrangements with another institution. Yeah, that's not going to work. Yep. Okay. But again, and so you'll you'll have. Uh, detail in the letter on, on each of your accounts and, and how things will so and you should have the letter um, I, I expect it would arrive probably Monday or Tuesday you should have it right on um, yeah and the letter will also include um, some contact information there if you do want to uh, uh, mm. raise any kind of other questions or concerns there's a There'll be an email address and a, a phone number as well on the letter. Although, I will caution you, like a lot of uh, a lot of banks right now, that calling that phone number, you may not get somebody right away. Yeah, it's you don't difficult. get people when you call the bank. You get yeah, you get no one. It's kind of a mess. Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So again, that that's really those were the key things I wanted to let you know. <laughs> so that you had a heads up and you didn't just get that letter and, and not have uh, the benefit of at least okay. a heads up. All right. Well, I appreciate it. Um, so just yeah. to recap, um, I'm being debanked. I'm banned from the bank. There is no reasons given. There is no one to contact. And that's it. Is that um, about right? So so just on the, on the, on the 
there, again, there will be some contact information on that letter that you can use. And again, if there's anything you need help with in terms of your accounts, your, your actual kind of day-to-day banking services that you can do yourself uh, online, you can email your branch and, and get some help from them there. Um, and, and you can discuss with them if there's anything that, uh, mm. that you feel like you might need to do in person. But, right. but please, yeah, you'll... Well, I might need to sue them because I feel like this is a predatory... This is discriminatory because of my, my legal situation, but that's something else I'll have to talk to somebody else about. Yeah, I, I, I understand the frustration, that's for sure. Yeah, it's not, it, you don't, though. It's not frustration. This is um, catastrophically uh, ruinous to most people. I can't imagine uh, this is something typically people deal with, so I don't appreciate people saying you understand because you certainly don't. Have you ever been debanked before and had your mortgage cut? I mean, my children live there, so... What, were they just homeless now? Or like these are things I have to deal with now. So yeah. please don't, you know, condescend to me and say that you understand my frustration. This is far beyond frustration, sir. Okay. That's, that's, I get it. Um, is that, is that it? Otherwise, I've, I clearly, sorry, go ahead. No, that's it. I just wanted to let you know, though, there'll be a bit more detail in the, the letter around your mortgage. But your mortgage will continue to run until I think your I think your mortgage uh, m- matures on kind of next November 2024. Yeah. So that that will that will continue to run up until that date. Uh, the bank won't be renewing the mortgage at that time. But I just wanted to reassure you that that will continue. It's not that the bank is, is terminating that. How am I going to How do I pay the mortgage if I don't have a bank account? So. Uh, <laughs> Uh, e- email the, the branch and you can work through kind of how, how that will work and making arrangements with an alternative uh, institution. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Does this letter come with any pamphlets from the government regarding MAID? Um, there are no pamphlets from the government, no. No, to the bank's not. Okay. I just didn't know if there was a partnership regarding medical assistance and dying or anything. But all right, that's it. Not that I'm aware of. Okay. Well, thank you, Jeremy, for for the time and for for talking it through. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. Take care. Yeah. It's Canada.